What's up guys, it's Justin from Hunting Product Guru and I have here with me an exclusive first shipment of Bergara's ST1 muzzle brake. And I'm gonna show you how to install it on this BMP65 Creedmoor here. Now I know a lot of you already know what self-timing means, but for those that do not, basically timing and self-timing means that the muzzle brake and ports are aligned properly to your rifle. Since you're screwing this muzzle brake onto the end of your barrel, a lot of us have typically taken our gun with the muzzle brake to a gunsmith to have them do it because it's just a tedious process. But with this Bergara ST1 muzzle brake, it comes with a wrench, a leveling bubble, and obviously the muzzle brake along with the great list of instructions. And the tools that you're gonna need to do this are 7 8 open end wrench as well as a torque wrench that will torque at 35 pounds. So I'm gonna run you through the features of the ST1 brake and then we'll get into the steps on how to install it. The ST1 employs an angled baffle design that applies downward pressure while not venting gas in the line of sight or increasing ground disturbance. This results in a drastic reduction of felt recoil as minimal muzzle rise. This includes a 5.8 by 24 thread pitch, best in class recoil and muzzle rise mitigation, 17.4 grade stainless steel with nitrate finish, includes wrench and bubble level. Okay, so now that I've gone through the features and everything that's in the package for the ST1, let's go ahead and install it on this Bergara BMP65 Creedmoor. Uh, so first thing we will always wanna do is make sure that the gun is clear. And it has already been cleared prior to this demonstration. Um, the next thing you wanna do is take your bubble level and I would highly suggest if you don't have a gun vise and you're using a bipod like I am now, go ahead and make sure that this gun is level. I have a pivoting bipod, so I'm gonna tighten the bipod system down so I won't get any shaking. So next thing we'll wanna do, keep that bubble over there, take off the thread cover here. And then we'll wanna make sure that as we're threading on this ST1 here, that the logo B for Bergara is facing up. Um, it's designed that way and you'll wanna make sure that the markings are facing down. So thread that on the end of the barrel till it's snug and basically just move that B to the north side there. And you wanna make sure to try to keep everything as level as possible. So now we'll take our wrench that goes on the nut there, get our open-ended 7 8 wrench here and we'll want to spin that with our 7 8 wrench. We'll want to spin that till it is level because our gun's tight. We'll tighten with our 35 pound torque wrench right now till it clicks. And I just heard it click. And now, bubble is level. Take that off, check for tension there, make sure nothing got out of whack. And just like that, that's as easy as it is to install the ST1 on the 6.5 Creedmoor here. If you want to learn more or go purchase one of these ST1 brakes for your gun, go to BergaraUSA.com.